Esteemed veterinarian and chiropractor, Dr. Kerry Ridgway, recognized that 70% of performance horses presented to his clinic had TMJ pain and restriction of their shoulders. TMJ dysfunction may be unilateral or bilateral. Causes of TMJ pain include trauma, dental pain, and ill-fitting tack. A rider with hard hands or lack of release will also cause stress to the joint. Improper use of tie downs, side reins, or running reins can lead to TMJ pain. TMJ pain can also be a result of anxiety. Similar to how a human clenches or grinds their teeth, a horse suffering from anxiety will develop increased jaw tension and hypertonicity of the hyoid musculature. The hyoid is comprised of five bones. Two stylohyoid bones, one on either side, are connected to a central basohyoid bone by the two serratohyoids. The basohyoid has a lingual process that inserts into the base of the tongue. The hyoid is connected by a cartilage to the petrous temporal bone and the tympanic bulla. The paired omohyoideus muscle connects the underside of each scapula to the lingual process of the basohyoid. This muscle serves to retract the tongue during swallowing. Excess muscle tension results in a restricted tongue and restricted shoulder movement. The sternohyoideus muscle connects the sternum to the hyoid and also serves to retract the tongue. Together, these two muscles are responsible for retraction of the hyoid. The stylohyoid muscle connects the styloid process of the skull to the hyoid apparatus. This muscle serves to retract and elevate the base of the tongue. The sternocephalicus muscle originates at the sternum and inserts on the ramus of the mandible. This muscle serves to open the mouth, flex the neck, and pull the head down. A horse straining against the bit is overusing this muscle. Most horses with TMJ pain will react to digital pressure one centimeter below and cranial to the TMJ. Sensitivity in this region is indicative of pain within the joint. Most horses with hypertonicity of the hyoid musculature will often have lateral imbalance of the hyoid bones. So you want to look underneath here, under the jaw, and notice it comes together to a point. There's going to be a bone in here. You can feel it when you push up in there. That's the bone in the tongue that's part of the hyoid apparatus. There's also a lot of saliva glands, so you'll probably feel some like nodules. What you want to do is slide your fingers basically straight up as if you're on the back side of the jaw here. And what the idea is is you're creating space between this and that center bone. A lot of times when you're actually in this area, you'll feel that that bone may be deviated slightly to one side or another, or that the space is tighter on one side for the other. If the space is tighter, start on the looser side first to free it up, and then go to the stiffer side. And your, the idea is just sliding the fingers up as if the tissue, you're melting your fingers into the tissue. And you're just going to hold it for a few minutes, and a lot of times they'll drop their head, uh, she wants to eat, but they'll also lick and chew like that. Okay. So in horses with hyoid issues, if you even palpate the basohyoid bone underneath the jaw, a lot of times they'll have a big reaction. So here I'm touching it, and she's having no reaction. And then if I slide my fingers up into the ramus here, one, you'll feel the tightness in the fascial webbing. And here she's actually just little chin wiggles, no big deal. In a hyoid reaction, there's a major response. They'll flip their head. Often you have to be careful not to get smacked in the face. Keep a hand lightly here. You test the TMJ just so if they flip their head, you don't ever stand right in front of them and do it. If your horse has a hyoid imbalance, Perform this release twice a week for a couple of weeks. Then monitor tension in the area and perform as needed.